Well, Jack, um, great win at the weekend at Bolton. How important was that in terms of, of, of the confidence, after, particularly after what happened against Exeter? Yeah, um, obviously it was coming off back-to-back um, losses. It was um, really good to get the win. And I thought the team got back to basics and, um, yeah, performed really well. Uh, and Peter Clark uh, with a goal. And I just wonder, as a, as a young player making your way in the game, what's it like to be around somebody like him who's, who's been around a long time, but his, his professionalism and his, you know, the way he goes about his business has got to be a, a, a great example to everyone. Yeah, he's a great role model. I've, I've learned a lot from, all, from him already. Um, he seems to score every time I've played so far. It's like, he must be one of the top goal scorers. But yeah, to be, to be around someone like him with so much experience is, um, yeah, it's really good for me. Is, is he quite vocal? Do you, do you hear him? I mean, particularly nowadays, I suppose. Yeah, very, especially in the games. He helps me out loads in position and things like that. But just little things around the building that it keeps you on the right path. On the right path. And I suppose that's one of the great things about going out on loan, Jack, isn't it? That you get this, not only the experience of, of playing games, but being around, you know, experienced lads. Yeah, it went like zero to 100 pretty quick with the seriousness and really getting to grips with what professional football is like and what it means to everyone. But um, yeah, I've really enjoyed it so far. Yeah, I mean, how, how are you settling in? I mean, it's a, it's a bit of a move, isn't it, for a 20-year-old to be, to be moving from one end of the country to the other? I know it's not that far, but, yeah, I, I, you know, do you feel settled in your own mind? Yeah, um, yeah, I'm all settled. The lads have made it. I couldn't have asked for a better place to come. All the lads have um, took me under their wing and, yeah, there's some good crack in the change rooms and stuff. But, yeah, I've enjoyed it and settling in well. It was tough the last um, month or so not playing. I, I was working hard and um, I was just so happy to get my chance um, at the weekend. And and how does it work? I mean, do you, do, do Newcastle stay in touch with you? Do, you? do you stay in touch with them about yeah. how it's going? Yeah, definitely. I, all the coaches um, text me and ring me all the time and ask me how I'm doing. And um, there's Shola Amiobi, the loan manager. So he um, he's in contact, con- contact with me um, all the time. Yeah. Well, it's a busy period now over Christmas for all footballers, isn't it? So there isn't much time for uh, festivities. Not no. that there will be anyway this year, I suppose. Yeah, it's, uh, it's obviously it's a weird year, but um, hopefully yeah, we can um, bring some smiles on Boxing Day, I guess. Yeah, and you've got, you've got Bradford there at the, the other end of the table, but uh, they did win their last game against Cambridge. So, I mean, there's never, it's an old cliche, but there's never an easy game that you can go into, is there? Yeah, the league's mad. It's... Um, right from the bottom to the top, everyone can beat anyone really. And um, yeah, obviously we're not taking it for granted and um, hopefully prepare well this week and go again. Back-to-back wins would be perfect, but yeah, we'll try hard and I'm sure we'll get the win. And that result against Bolton has, uh, has obviously got you back into a position where you're just a few points off the playoffs. Um, yeah. Is it too early yeah. to, be, to be checking results and checking league tables and, and seeing where you are or, or is it good to use that as a motivating uh, force? Yeah, it's definitely motiva- motivational um, for the whole squad. That's where we want to be. We want to be promoted and in that area, the playoffs especially. So, yeah, I think um, we found a formation that, that works and we put the work in on a daily basis about it. So I think if we keep on going along the right way, we, we should be up there at the end of the season. And you have to keep, you know, one game at a time in mind when you've got a few games coming up. There's an FA Cup tie not too far away as well, but you just can't think about those, can you? No, there's no telling when you'll be needed or when when you might be called into the squad, but you're right. Um, you just need to keep focus on the next game and then the next game after that. So all focus on Bradford. And, and I mentioned before about playing alongside people like Peter Clark, but in the midfield area, somebody else is, is Jay Spearing and uh, and hopefully he's going to be fit. But, you know, how, how is it playing alongside him, you know, week in, week out? Yeah, I've, I've learned so much. Um, he helps us every day in training through the games. Him, him and, and Fiends as well. They've both been excellent to me and, guiding me through the process and yeah it's they've made my my job really really easy and slotting the team was um, was easy with them being behind me and in front of me was um yeah it was perfect 